Hello, everyone, and welcome to the House of Footy YouTube channel, the home of your footy fix. I am Iris of the Tarks, and I'm joined by Jackson Batoli. Jacko, how are you, my friend? Absolutely lovely, mate. Looking forward to making the debut in the new house. <laughs> yes, it is It is the debut on the channel for Jacko. And on off the back of uh, Dan Houston's goal after the siren last week against Essendon, we thought it was pretty fitting to kick off or to introduce the new channel um, to go through our top five kicks after the siren in the last 20 years. Now, we could have gone all time, but I think we'd be here all day trying to figure out the list. So we just, we limited it to the last 20 years. We've got each other's, we, well, we've got our top fives. I don't know Jacko's. Jacko's doesn't know, doesn't know mine. So I think this is going to be quite interesting. We had a discussion before we started about some kicks that have been omitted that potentially shouldn't have been omitted. So I think we'll, um, I think we'll speak on that when it comes to it, but um, Jacko, kick us off with your five and then, and then I'll give my five and then we can have a, have a little bit of a discussion. Absolutely, mate. Uh, really looking forward to this. There's plenty to choose from here. We've had 57 in, in history that have been taken note of. Remarkably, nine of them in the last four years. So I know. Been absolutely yeah. spoiled for choice. <laughs> yeah, I know. There's been a couple of good ones. I'm sure I'm sure some of them will definitely will definitely feature in this video for sure. Absolutely. Um, though I, I'm a passionate Swans man. We know this. This well, one yeah. may not be in the it may not be in the top five, but in my heart, it truly is. And it is Gary Rowan after the siren against Essendon. There's just something so, for me, something so perfect about that. That the, it's the it's the imagery. It's the it's the it's the one handed it's the one handed <laughs> mark. It's the one mark. Rowan 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 Mark. Yeah, is, I I love it too. Getting a win over Essendon, especially that there's just nothing. I don't, I can't even say much about it. I just yeah. I just love that goal. I love the win. I love the this team. Yeah, the it was a, it was three goals down with a couple of minutes to go. Yeah, 20, Cal- 20 minutes, 20, 20 points down points. with five five minutes to go, and we just managed to scratch it back. That <laughs> final kick in, the mark on the goal line, just perfect. Yeah, especially I I also I think it's I think something about that goal that I don't know if it goes underappreciated, but the fact it was a pure one on one in the goal square, like no other player in the vicinity, a pure one on one. Rowan did really well to to get somebody in on I can't remember who whose opponent was, but no, and I also think the commentary as well makes yeah. it the commentary is picture so perfect. Iconic. So iconic. Yeah. That that's that's one that's in the compilations for sure. Um yeah, so that's 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 a good number five. I'll start I'll kick things off with my five. And I actually forgot about this goal until I did my short list. So I had a short list of nine, which I wrote which I rattled down to five and i actually forgot that this was on this actually happened this was the last kick that i put on my short list because i remembered it late um we're going back to to 2012 the early the earliest kick that on my list so a little bit of a spoiler from there i'm going with tom hawkins against hawthorne now it was it was on the siren i think i think it counts it was basically basically after the siren the ball went through after the siren and i think I think when we're looking at difficulty of kicks, like 55 out, yeah, it was directly in front, but uh, on the siren, right, 55 out, it would have to be the perfect kick. They kicked a basically three-quarter goalpost height, and obviously the drama behind it, like Hawthorne were, had the ball in their goal square 30 seconds before, Geelong went end-to-end, and then, of course, the Kenneth Curse um, kind of was the umbrella over that whole game. It was it was thrilling viewing. I remember watching it, and, um, yeah, it was... It's and once again we're speaking about commentary moments. The commentary, the caddy still on the back, I think by Dennis is is all time as well. So I think two moments that are, that are helped by the commentary, and I think that's going to be a theme throughout throughout this throughout this list because I think they always seem to get it right. But yeah, I've got Tom Hawkins in my five. You've gone Gary Rowan in your five. I'll kick things off with my four, and I've gone in my four the the kick that inspired this list. I've gone with Dan Houston. I just think. And and it's actually quite maybe a little bit of recency bias, maybe a little bit of recency bias. And I'm I'm willing to accept if that's the case, but I, I think the the rain helps it a lot. I think the the gravity of it, and also the fact that I mean I'm looking through the list here. Dan Houston is probably one of I think I've said this a couple of times. One of three players you'd want from that Port Adelaide team to take that kick after the siren. So it's funny how it worked out that way. But um yeah, 55 hour hits it absolutely pure. The drama with the the touch on the line, obviously. Sorry, I sorry to bring this up, but obviously a call back to the Oli Foreign earlier in the year. Um and it, it went Port's way again, but on the opposite on the opposite way, which is quite funny. Um yeah, and obviously the, the Essendon comeback as well. They were what they kicked three goals in a row, hit the front in the pouring rain, and then the scrap kick away by Martin marked by Houston on 50. 
And um, yeah, you saw you saw Ken Hinckley's reaction when he took the mark. It was a little bit of yeah, he, he knew, he knew. And I think most of us knew it. if anyone's going to kick it, it would be Houston. So yeah, he 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 sits in my four. What about you, Matt? Um, yeah, absolutely. Two two very good kicks there. That Hawkins one was in my shortlist as well. I had a shortlist of ten. We were just t- talking about how hard it yeah. was to cut down from a shortlist into your top five. Um, and, and then the Dan Houston one. Not much more to add on to that. My four. Um, is also a semi-recent one. I remember watching this game, um, not live, but I remember, I remember watching this game. It, it just sits with me. It, we're going back to 2021, the final game of the home and away season, and Max Gorn against the Cats at the Cattery. They were forty. They were 44 points down in the second quarter. It secured their first minor premiership since 1964. Uh, it's one of those ones where Max Gorn takes the mark and unlike the Dan Houston one, you can tell the fans, the players, the coach are a bit, a bit, bit shaking, yeah. a yeah. bit shaking what's going to happen. And true captain's performance, he goes back, absolutely nails it. And especially in that in that year, those few years, any any trip to the Cattery is tough. But yeah, to for sure. In that moment, yeah. when you're 44, 44 points down at any point in the game, was just just incredible. I, I, that goal just sits sticks with me, and I knew it, it had to make the list. Yeah, I think yeah, I think that that definitely fits on the uh, drama and the spectacle and the ramifications more than more than maybe the Houston one. Obviously, throughout the year, that was literally probably uh, there's no there's no finals kicks. I don't think that have happened after the siren. Or there has been. I don't know. There, there is one. I just remembered, and I don't know yeah. if it's if it's on the list. Yeah, but fine. that's probably that's probably second if it's on if we're talking about like drama and repercussions. So yeah, it's a very probably like like the rolling kick. Probably not the best pure kick, but. Yeah. The whole circumstance and the and the pomp and circumstance around that is definitely up there. So yeah, a very very good pick in number four. Well, who do you sit? We're going to the podium now. Who do you have in your three? Um, there's a reason I didn't touch on one of your kicks just too much earlier, and it is the Dan Houston one. I've just sat it in three here. Um, you touched on everything you need to say. The difficulty, the wet ball, really stands out for me. Yep. Fifty five out, just absolutely laced it. It was an incredible in terms of pure kick. It, it has to be up there as one of the most difficult in terms of degree of difficulty. And I just, you said everything needs to be said. It was an incredible kick. It's what Sam Draper said, in, he was sitting in the coach's box and he, the coach's box said he's the only player they didn't want to have yeah. the ball in that moment, I guess. Yeah, that's my, that's my three, that one. Sling back to you. Yeah. So yeah, I think yeah, I think maybe maybe a little bit recently biased from both of us there, but I think I think it, I think it will stand the test of time. I think it will. Yeah. Um, in my three. Now, look, you said you were going to make a late change before we started recording and you've stuck with it. I'm thinking about it now. How this kick is this low, I have got no idea. And I don't even know if it's on your list. But when I think of goals after the siren, especially in recent times, my mind goes immediately to the Gabba and it's Ash McGrath for Brisbane against Geelong. That's in my third spot. Thinking about it, it's uh, yeah, that's very stiff, it's isn't very it? Very low. It's very stiff, and there may be reasons why that's slipped down to three, and we'll touch on that a little bit later. Mm-hmm. But um, yeah, no, like I think similarly to similarly to kind of this kick had both had the pomp, the circumstance, obviously the the, the comeback. There was a, the, like the miracle on grass, the call as well. Like we said, probably one of Anthony Hudson's best ever calls, probably one of the, the footy's best ever calls, and. Milestone game, two hundredth or two fiftieth, one of the yeah, two. One of those two. Yeah, it was it was definitely a milestone game, and he absolutely flushed it, fifty out, and goes through three quarter goalpost height. They went end to end in thirty sec, not even fifteen seconds, and it was yeah, just like a really magical moment, especially when you when you look back and, I mean. I don't know. I, I can't remember watching the game, but the when you look at highlights of that game, especially throughout the third quarter, it seemed like the game was dead. Similar like the game was dead. Geelong were going to run away with it. It was going to be a stand performance, and the, the line just kept chipping back, chipping back, chipping back, and it all built to the perfect crescendo of Ash McGrath kicking it. Um, yeah, I think this probably strikes the balance between like the the circumstance and the actual kick yeah. probably the best. Brilliant kick is just yeah, one it's of the best. It's yeah. One of the best. I don't know how it slipped to third. I've got no idea how it slipped to that's third. A, that's a choice by you, mate. That's a that's a real choice. Yeah, I know. But look, I'll look. I I'll defend myself when I when I speak on my on my two and my one. So um, yeah, that's that is my three. That is my three. What have you? 
what are we looking at for you, Matt? This is where it, I think a degree of difficulty is starting to take over for me in this one. And I've got Jack Nunes in two. Your, your boy, Very Carlton, much. Carlton boy, fam, famous footballer, plenty, yes. plenty of games under his belt. Yeah. Um, 45 out. Pinned against the pinned against the boundary line. There's just something about those games between Carlton and Fremantle over those couple of years. Yeah, were just so it was always a belter. Yeah, obviously. Always... The, yeah, the year before was Murphy's kick. Mm-hmm. Not not after the siren, but no. likely thirty seconds to go. Just, yeah, they produced some absolute belting contests, and that was one of them. I think for me personally, that's probably the hardest kick. Of at least the ones I can think of, the hardest kick you know performed, and he just absolutely laced it. It yeah. off, off the boot. It didn't look like there was a even a second of doubt. It's yeah. one. Of, it's why I've got him my second favorite of the last twenty years or since two thousand. It's just an incredible kick he's done so well under pressure. Such a hard kick to pull off from there, and he's absolutely nailed it. Yeah, I think I think with that kick as well, it's one of those like it's hard to really replicate like the Tom Hawkins kick because it was 55 out directly in front. And like even the Houston kick, it was, it's very like, it's very, it's a, it's a kick that you see quite often in yeah. footy. Whereas I think a lot of people, a lot of kids went, went to their local park and practiced that Jack Nunes kick over and over again. It's one of those like Jack Nunes kicks. Like it's now it's in folklore. So yeah, for sure. That's like, I'm not going to spoil anything, but it's a, it's a, it's a very when good. You, when you're in the backyard uh, playing, pretending to kick a goal after the siren, you're not pretending to kick it from right in front. You're, yeah. you're on the boundary line. Yeah. You're doing yeah. it from the hard angles. Yeah. It's, what he's done is what every kid has ever dreamed of doing for their yeah. club. Yeah. And, and also the the moving of the sort of security guard, the chair, <laughs> the cords. The fact that it was the fact that it was obviously a downfield free kick. Yeah, he wasn't even well. wasn't even meant to take the kick. Like it was conjecture around whether it should have been someone else taking the kick, but mm-hmm. Yeah, no, definitely, definitely. Um, I think a worthy, worthy podium finish on your end. Yeah. Move on to my number two, and I, I feel like, I feel like I'll speak on my two and my one at yeah. the same time because I feel like I feel like they work in the conversation. So, okay. into, let's take, cast our minds back to last year at the MCG, and I've gone with Jamie Elliott into against Essendon, and that. Obviously leads into my number one being Jack Nunes after the siren against Freya. Now, the reason why I feel like it's it's important to kind of speak on both of these in the same at the same time is I think when we take a look at pure difficulty of kicks, I think these two are one and two in terms of pure difficulty of kicks. I think the Nunes kick is harder naturally wet ball in the rain, low scoring game, like all, all the points we've just touched on. However, the Elliot the Elliot goal has that gravitas. It has it's as close it's as close to I wouldn't say a grand final or a final mm-hmm. like a finals type atmosphere. Yeah. Especially obviously we all know what Collingwood were able to do last year with those clutch wins. We all thought when was it Harry Jones taking the or having a set shot from mm-hmm. 45 out directly in yeah. front we all we thought there you go, game's done. And then they somehow managed to do it again in the most dramatic way possible, and it, it built. It was a perfect crescendo to the not only the game, but I also think the four or five weeks that that um was prior to it because it just built these close wins, close wins, close wins, and then you think it's not going to happen, and then it happened. He probably like how did he even take that mark in between two of the two S and M players after the siren on the boundary? I, I I I that's why he's in my two. Because I think all of that is definitely worthy of at least the podium. Yeah. I just think the Nunes kick is so un like I just think the difficulty on that kick is staggering, like absolutely staggering. I mean, we if you're comparing set shots for goals, you Jamie Elliott a forward probably better in those tight kind of situations. Have done it has done it before far more. You, you back him nine times out of ten in a, in a, in like kicking for goal, especially from a set shot. Um, whereas Jack Nunes, no one really knew what to expect because he yeah. doesn't take many set shots, especially from tough angles. Mm-hmm. So, I mean, as a card support, I was just sitting back thinking, who knows? Like, who who knows? I didn't even realize I didn't even realize he had the kick because obviously what we <laughs> spoke about before the free kick. So, yeah. Um, yeah, I just think the difficulty 
of that kick. People, I think people forget how far out it was. It was 45 out. He takes his run up from like 52, 52 meters out and he absolutely flushes it. Like it, there's a, there's a brilliant, brilliant camera shot. I think if I, if I can bring it up here, I, I will yeah. of the behind of behind Jack Nunes, mm-hmm. as you can see the ball go directly straight, doesn't deviate straight through the middle. And um, yeah, he, th- that's why I think he's at my number one, potentially a little bit biased. But you know what? I'll I'll, 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 I'll back put, it. I put Gary Rowan in the list, but we're allowed to be biased. Yeah, yeah. no, fair enough. Yeah, <laughs> we're way back to the rules down video. Yeah. So yeah, Jack, Jack Nunes. Jack Nunes is my number one. Um, who have you got? Who have you got in your in your coveted position? Um, I I could make a big song and dance about it, but you've already spoken about it. It is Ash McGrath. It is the miracle on grass. It's when you think about goals after the siren, that's the one, isn't it? Like yeah, that that's what you think of. It's the it's the benchmark. It's what you spoke about it being. 52 points down the three quarter time in the third quarter, bringing it back. It used, the game looked like it was done. Ash McGrath kicking that goal, the circumstances surrounding him as well in that game. I just don't think there was anything I could have had above that one for me. But yeah, that's that's my one. It's pretty, there was it was so tough to get these five. Like Jamie Ellett's another one man like that. Yeah, that guy. We 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 can talk about honourable mentions if we want to, because there were so many that missed that I wanted to put in. Yeah, so I think well, the four I've got on my short list, I didn't make the card. I don't know if you if you're thinking of anything more, but if we're going in chronological order, I think sorry to bring this up again, but Sam Lloyd against the Swans at the MCG. I also think the commentary helps that moment as well from yeah, BT. Absolutely, that's a very good honourable mention. Luke Shuey against Port in 2017. The only kick after the siren in finals that in the last 20 years, I'm pretty sure. Obviously, extra time, the free kick. Not the hardest kick in the world and probably from a player you expect to kick it. Obviously, Luke Shui being a very classy player, um, winning a Norm Smith the year after. So you would expect him to kick it, a player of his caliber to kick it, but that doesn't take away from the goal nonetheless. Um, a, a kick that I'm shocked didn't make the list. And this was the one that I was speaking about pre-show, and that is Robbie Gray against Carlton in 2020. Yeah. Yeah. That you look. I don't. Did, did you have that one on your short list? Was that? Yeah, absolutely. That was the one I was talking about making a late change. That one, bringing that one in. Yeah, that's that was a yeah. I mean, I don't. Yeah, I I don't know how that's. I mean, I don't know how Ash McCrae's finished third in my list, and I don't even know how Robbie hasn't even made it. Maybe if, yeah. I I reckon he would definitely be sixth if we were doing a top six. He'd definitely be on there. Yeah, if I wasn't being biased and didn't have Gary <laughs> Rowan in there, he probably slides in. <laughs> yeah, if we're talking. Yeah, that was. Like, but like, like you said, like, like, like we've said, I should say, if you want the player, if you want the ball in a player's hands in that moment, Robbie Gray is up there. Where, where the commentary just helps. Us. Oh yeah, Robbie Gray, so good for yeah. so good. Um, in terms of my, um, in terms of my short list, one of the ones I also really wanted to have in was Carmichael Hunt for the Suns. Yeah, I, I didn't have him down, but yes, the moment, I agree. The, yeah, that's, that's another one where the circumstances surrounding that moment were just brought that kick up so much. Uh, Jordan Dawson for the Crows in the yeah. in the showdown. That's I think that's just a really good kick. Yeah, in general. Obviously. Also, yeah, also cut, coming back on that one, the commentary as well. Yeah, on that one as well. Again from Hutto, he seems to just do it every he, single time. He's in the right place at the right time. Perfect. Uh, the yeah. ones we spoke about, obviously Robbie Gray, Jamie Ellie, you had in your list, and I didn't have. But yeah, it was totally tough. Like. I could probably switch out my five with all of the five that didn't make it and still have a good list. Oh, yeah. It, yeah. It, there's a lot you could pick from. Like you said, was it nine, nine in the in last, last three and a half years? Yeah. Yeah. We've been spoiled for choice. And I think all of them have been, all of them have been of some caliber as well, both in either pure kick or in moments. I mean, the earliest one that comes with the comes with the territory. You can't really have a kick after someone to win a game and think, oh, no, that what a, what a terrible. What yeah, terrible, right. yeah, yeah, moment. yeah, yeah, not for, really forgettable. No, not really, really <laughs> yeah, no, but um, I think the earliest one I've got in mind is 2012 in Hawkins. Yours would be at McGrath, yeah, McGrath 2013. And was... yeah, and we're in, I've got one from this year, one from the year up before, and the one from oh, one from 2020. So I've got two, I've got three in the last three years, yeah, Ro- my Rowan's in 2017, and then Gorn's 2021, Nunes and Houston was this year. There you go. There you go. It was yeah. No one can. Neither of us could have could have built a bad list. I, I don't think. No. I don't think that's possible. No matter what we did, there was going to be stiff selections that missed out. So. Yeah, for sure. 
for sure. No, it's a fantastic list, man. I'm glad. I'm glad we differed. I'm glad we differed. So, so more, so more. Yeah, yeah. I'm glad. That's what I was worried about. If we didn't show each other before, that we could have the same list and it could be quite boring. But yeah. no, I'm, I'm glad we differed. But yes, thank you, thank you very much for joining me, Jacko. It's been it's been a pleasure. This was a very fun exercise. Thank you all very much for watching. If you have stuck around, that is greatly appreciated. Make sure you leave your thoughts in the comments below. Leave your leave your top five kicks in the last twenty years, or we'll just go go from two thousand. We'll, we'll we'll round it. We'll round it down. From from two thousand, best kicks after the siren. Um, so yeah, make sure you leave your thoughts in the comments below. Make sure you subscribe to the House of Footy, the home of your footy fix. Um, yeah, see you guys next time. Goodbye.